waves transfer energy without moving matter, similar to ocean waves or sunlight. In the beginning of the 20th century, we found ways to use this property and send messages over long distances, fulfilling a long-held need of mankind. In general in air, electromagnetic waves such as radio signals travel longer than mechanical waves such as sound. Wave frequency is another important property of a wave. It relates to the number of times the wave repeats. It is measured in hertz, the number of cycles of the wave in one second. The distance over which a wave repeats, is defined as wavelength. Mechanical waves are those which need a medium to propagate in. They do not move the particles of that medium but use them to transfer the wave energy. A sound wave is an example of mechanical waves. In liquid, low frequency waves propagate better. The US Navy uses under 1 kHz sonar to detect undersea objects or map ocean floors. The median frequency of human voice is about 240 Hz, and its detectable range, under ideal conditions, is about 180 meters. Without a barrier, higher frequency waves, which have higher energy travel longer distances in air. A whistle with a frequency of around 5 kHz, can travel further. Silbo, a type of whistled language, is intelligible at a distance of up to 8 kilometers. To transmit information over very long distances, electromagnetic waves are used. Electromagnetic waves or EM waves spread without the need for a medium, travel at the speed of light, do not lose energy in vacuum, and can travel forever. Using a signal frequency of about 850 kilohertz, in December 1901, Guglielmo Marconi received the first transatlantic radio signals, the Morse code for the letter S. An antenna converts an electrical signal to EM waves to make it transmittable. The length of the antenna inversely depends on the frequency of the signal. For low frequency signals such as electrical representation of sound out of a microphone, the size of the antenna grows to hundreds of kilometers, making the transmission impractical. Modulation overcomes this problem by mixing the low frequency information with a high frequency sinusoidal. Modulation conceals the low frequency message in a high frequency wave. Using modulation on Christmas Eve 1906, the first wireless audio signal was broadcasted by Reginald Aubrey Fessenden. He used the 128-meter Brandt Rock Radio Tower, to send the first radio broadcast of music and entertainment to ocean ships hundreds of miles away. On February 21, 2013, the VLBA made this image from Voyager 1's modulated signal, 18.5 billion kilometers away, among thousands of other signals in the air. In the modulation process, a low frequency information signal is put on a higher frequency sine wave, to produce a new waveform, which is suitable for transmission. The information is referred to as the modulating signal, the sine wave as the carrier signal, and the mix as the modulated carrier wave. Modulation process can be viewed as a ride carrying cargo from one place to another, where the cargo is the message and the ride is the carrier signal. At the destination, the detected signal is mixed with the carrier, and the resulting signal is filtered to produce the message. This process is called demodulation. AM and FM are two of the most popular modulation techniques. In AM, Amplitude modulation, a high frequency sine wave is multiplied by the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal. The envelope of the resulting wave then has the shape of the message signal while its frequency is that of the carrier signal. FM or frequency modulation uses the amplitude of the message signal to vary the frequency of a carrier sine wave. 
The amount of frequency alteration depends on the deviation of the modulating signal from its midpoint. Bigger values increase, and smaller values decrease the frequency of the modulated signal. In AM the amplitude of the modulated signal represents the message. The spectrum of an AM signal, generated by mixing a carrier signal and a sine wave, displays the carrier signal spectra with two sidebands corresponding to the frequency of the message or the modulating signal. In FM however, the frequency of the modulated signal characterizes the message. The spectrum of an FM signal represents various other frequency components of the signal. FM occupies a wider frequency band. Modulation concept is the process of varying one or more properties of a high frequency periodic waveform, referred to as the carrier signal, with an information signal, to transmit the information. It is like throwing a paper note across a distance by wrapping it around a stone. Since a sine wave is completely defined by its amplitude, frequency, and phase, in a modulation process, one or a combination of these properties is altered by the modulation signal. Once a low frequency wave is modulated, it travels longer and requires smaller transmission antennas. Modulation also allows multiple transmissions, each with its own unique carrier frequency. Each modulation technique offers its own benefits and is intended for a particular application. Both AM and FM techniques are widely used. Since lower frequencies are reflected better by the electrically charged atoms in the ionosphere, AM waves are spread in a wider area, particularly at night when the ionosphere is not affected by sun. An important advantage of FM is that it is not disturbed by outside interferences. Therefore, FM results in a higher quality transmission. AM and FM fall under analog modulation category. In an analog modulation process, the information signal continuously modulates either the amplitude, the frequency, the phase, or the combination of these parameters of the carrier frequency. The advent of digital signal processing gave birth to digital modulation. Conceptually it is like analog modulation. However, it uses a discrete signal to modulate the carrier signal. Its examples include, ASK, amplitude shift keying, FSK, frequency shift keying, PSK, phase shift keying, and QAM, quadrature amplitude modulation. Digital modulation is the modulation of choice when data security and quality is important. As the digital realm is taking over the analog world, soon analog modulation may only be found in textbooks. Thanks for watching.